everybody welcome back to a New York City week in my life we are back I was in the Hamptons for two weeks and it feels so good to be home I literally spent all day yesterday and this morning just slowly unpacking still haven't finished unpacking but this is going to be very much a getting my life together vlog and I hope you guys enjoy coming along I woke up this morning obviously had no groceries so I went and got a coffee and got just like the bare minimum as you guys saw Cleaned my fridge, just did a couple things this morning, planned my life, you know. And I'm so pumped because I just got a delivery from Factor as well. Um, we were working with them on the podcast, so I have a ton of meals right here. So that's why I didn't buy too many meal-related things from the grocery store. So these are like pre-made meals, so updates to come. I've never tried it before. I know Brooke has, so I'm really pumped to try these. I also did a load of laundry yesterday, so my whites have finally finished. So I'm gonna fold these. I folded my darks earlier. It just feels so good to be back in my space, have my candle going, filling up my Doing Well Daily Planner. I unpacked all of my toiletries and my other bags, but I haven't unplugged, unplugged. But I haven't unpacked my clothing or this big bag. So that's uh, this evening's journey for sure. I'm also just realizing that Factor also sent me a smoothie variety pack. <clears throat> I mean, this is exciting. A mango smoothie. Strawberry banana, yum. Wait, this is amazing, tropical fruit. Have you guys tried Factor before? I'm so excited. It just feels so good to be home and eat healthy things. Also, look how cute this phone case is. It's from Bobble Bar. I hope it's as protective as my Case to Fi case because I really trust Case to Fi cases, but this one was too cute. Another fun update, you guys know how much I loved the Laundress detergent, and then they did a massive recall on the products, um, but they just reformulated a ton of their products, so they just sent me the signature detergent, and I just used it, and I'm very pumped. Um, updates to come, but it still smells amazing, and I'm just so happy because I really missed the Laundress. Going to get my nails done in a little bit, and this these are the nails that I've had for the last few weeks I, i've done this before i really love it. it's like a pale yellow and then did a pearl chrome powder over top i seriously love it i'm sad to get rid of it but i want to show you guys what i want to get today welcome to my pinterest i am a very active pinterest user so if you're looking for new people to follow on pinterest d at danny carolyn i literally love it it's my nails folder i always go to it when i'm doing my nails um these are some things that i'm really obsessed with that I want to eventually do but I think this is what I want to do today so it's honestly similar to what I have right now but it's like an ombre situation so it'll be like a knee like a greenish yellow on the top into like a nude and then I think there's chrome powder over top because you guys know I can't not get chrome but I'm also like that's what I sent my nail girl so that's what she thinks she's doing but I'm also like should I just do like, should I just do this instead? I don't know. It's summer. No, it's summer. I should do this, right? Did you not feel like answering me today? Something's been on my mind. So in case you want to go... So what are you going to say to our future children? Why would you have bed bugs? Oh, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. And why would you... Dark origins of, like... We're about to head to the nail salon. I have, like, dry, chapped skin right here. I think it might be, like, partly sunburned, just not moisturizing it enough out in the Hamptons. So I'm using this Aquaphor Immediate Relief Chapped Skin. It's literally like a big old bomb. And it feels really strange to do. But I'm just using it on the side of my nose and right here where this dry skin is. Kind of strange to do, but I think that's what this is for. I mean, it's huge. Look at these nails. I am so happy with them. Did the Ended up doing the ombre. I was like, should I do these or glazed donut nails? And she was like... Do these and we'll do glazed donut after. I'm obsessed. I go to Mickey Nail Co. in Lower East Side. It's time for my second cup of decaf coffee. We'll do a Hamptons mug to pretend that I'm still in the Hamptons. Also wearing our Hamptons gal sweatshirt. I'm obsessed with it. I'm wearing an XL and it is everything I need and more. The material is so freaking comfy. You can get it on galsonthegopodcast.com and click on merch or go to fanjoy.co and click gals on the go. But it's so amazing. Like, I'm obsessed. It's like a nice thin material for summer, so it's not too thick. But it's perfect. I've got a little more work to do. That's the only thing when you're getting your nails done, you see things coming in on your phone, and you're like, I wish I could respond. 
One of my recent favorite snacks has been making ham and cheese roll-ups. So literally just taking a piece of ham and a piece of um, American cheese and putting it in the ham and rolling it up. It's so tasty. Got the ham. I'm literally a child, I know. Got the cheese. And we just roll her up. And it's a very delicious bite. Mmm. Okay. It's six o'clock and I'm just ready for dinner. So herb crusted chicken from Factor. We're gonna try it. Oh my gosh, with mashed cauliflower and green beans. So I can't complain. Microwave on high for two minutes. I can do that. This looks good. All right, I'm gonna try the Clara Purse method and see how many things I can unload from my dishwasher while it's being microwaved. Dishwasher is loaded and unloaded. My meal looks absolutely amazing. All right, it's time to take an everything shower. Let's do it. Gonna try these Lujo Bar eucalyptus shower steamers. All right, let's see what it does. I moved it here so it doesn't block the water, but it's already smelling amazing. That felt unreal. Wearing our Brooklyn and bundle from Gals in the Go. If you go, I think I always have it linked below. We have a Brooklyn and bundle where you get this robe, two towels, and sheets um, for a special price. And you can pick out the colors, but we obviously got the pink ones. Oh my god, my skin is so dry. I have to do another review of the shower steamer. I'm gonna have to use it again. I don't know if I used it right. It definitely produced scent. But I, I don't know, maybe I should have kept my bathroom door shut so it was more steamy in here. I have always loved Elemis products, but they gave me like a daytime and a nighttime collagen cream. So I've been using the night cream, especially because it's just even more powerful. I'm like, put the moisture on me, baby. Delaney's here. I said you need to stop by. I just went through my closet again and I have like PR I want to give her, so. It's Christmas morning. I can't wait to see what you pick out. Guys, Joe Malone sent over a, two th gifts, one for me and one for a friend. I was like, Delaney's here. It's this, they're amazing diffuser. I love a reed diffuser. So they gave you the sticks and this looks like it's refillable. So you just pop it in and this is fresh fig and cassis. It smells amazing. I'm literally gonna do it right now. Mm. What's your sample? Fresh fig and cassis. It's really good. It's like a hotel -y scent. I like it. It's fall esque. I think this will be good, and then your apartment just like smells good. Cute little Cute. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. I know. Yes, that's so true. Okay, I put it here for now. I think it looks good and it's already smelling amazing. Okay, Delaney just left. I look terrible. I've been meaning to do this Taylor Swift eras thing. So basically on Spotify, it like obviously has all of your listening history. So I'm gonna guess. So I guess first I select my top five eras, like which ones I think I've listened to the most. And then I think it's gonna tell me which ones I have listened to the most. So I'm gonna guess honestly, I really feel like debut is my first one because I listen to I that's I just I love it Second is either fearless or speak now. I'm gonna go with speak now and then fearless and Then probably reputation is my next one and then either lover or 1989 or pro I'm gonna go with 1989 All right, so that's what I think my top five are. I wonder how right I am. So this is what I'm saying Debut speak now fearless reputation 1989. All right, I'm locking it in Oh 
But this is just what I think. Well, tell me what it's... Oh, okay. Yay, 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 yay. Oh! Uh... Oh my god, I was not expecting this. Okay. So we have Fearless and Speak Now, which definitely makes sense. I well, cause I didn't listen to Speak Now for a while. Like, it's newer. I get, oh my god, this is tea. So Fearless, Speak Now. Folklore. I did have a big folklore era when I first moved to New York. And Brooke and I went to Rhode Island for a weekend. And I was, like, hooked on folklore. Reputation. Midnight's I'm shocked about. But I love it. Oh my god, this is so fun. I need to share it with the peeps. People are probably so tired of this, but I think it's so interesting. I'm being so lazy. Let's get up and let's get after it. Wednesday morning posted a new video a new podcast episode was getting all that done and then I just kind of was falling into the couch and I was like no it's a beautiful day I stayed in all day yesterday like just getting stuff done I do still need to unpack but I want to do some form of activity today so we're gonna go for a walk I don't know where I'm gonna walk I don't know how far I'm gonna walk we're just gonna walk I'm wearing this super cute set from IKD active it's Issa Duffy's brand i love it um it's just so fun and then i just put my hair up in a bun and then added a claw clip that like thing i showed in my last vlog bottega bags it kind of doubles as like a tote and i just throw everything in there i do want to go to sephora because kelly has been telling me about the natasha denona under eye concealer and i'm always looking for new under eye concealer and probably get a fun beverage of sorts, either a Juice Generation smoothie, because I haven't had one in so long, or like an iced coffee. And But the main activity is walking. So we're going to do just that, and then I'll come back and I'll have gotten my energy out, and we'll unpack and do all the other stuff I need to do. Let's go! We are back. That was so fun. I have opened up my first suitcase. It is time to begin the unpacking process. Gosh, I really, I unpacked everything but my clothes. Because honestly, this is the hardest part because you gotta hang everything back up. Ugh, I'm stressed. <laughs> Yay, one suitcase is unpacked. I just need to put this stuff back in, but it looks quite good in here. My pants are nice and crowded. And then I keep like my shorts and stuff under there. So it's just putting everything away. And then my other suitcase is all like the dresses that I brought and like tops and other fun clothes. And that is a whole animal in itself. So, but this closet is done. Ha, just kidding. Forgot about all of my swimsuits and cover-ups that I needed to put away. I brought so many swimsuits and I honestly wore a lot of them. Like I never repeated a bathing suit. So that was fun. I don't regret bringing them all. It was fun. That's where this ladder comes to play. And then up there, I have a bin with cover-ups and a bin with swimsuits. So we're gonna put them up there. It works out pretty well. We have moved to the closet room. 
I'm reorganizing my shoes and my bags a little bit because I haven't gotten up there yet because when I film TikToks and just vlogs and stuff, you can see all this behind me and I want it to look good and I had a ton of shoes bunched up here. Um, so I kind of just went through this, organized it a little bit better. Um, you might have not even realized I have shoes down here and sometimes I forget. So I need to remember when I'm looking for a pair of shoes, I have more down here. Um, but I put like my current most worn like summer heels situation there. Some other of my more current wears and then these are more like evening shoes and then all my boots are obviously still there. Um, I just recently organized this, but I, that's already kind of a mess. Then I have other special shoes up there. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with like how this looks. I think I'm wearing these heels tonight. That's why I didn't put them away, but I'm just going to put them away so I don't, you know. So that it looks nice and clean. So that's what I've been up to. I am now cleaning these Reebok sneakers I have. I've been wearing them a lot. And they're like this leather material. So I'm able to just take a Clorox wipe and clean them. That's what I've always done with my white shoes. If it's like a fabric, then I put them in the washer. I guess I probably could. I think I have put like my Nike Air Maxes in the wash before and it came out. Like if you're, especially if you're trying to target the laces. But... This is just an easy, quick fix before I put them back on my shelf. I don't even know how I got them so dirty. Oh, you know, I wore these to the Drake concert one night and I was dancing around. That'll do it. Okay, now that this area is all cleaned out, it's time to unpack the big mama. I don't wanna do it. Randomly got super aggressive up in here and I'm, rearranging the way I have like I used to have color in the middle but I wear more neutrals and then I bring color out obviously <clears throat> so I had all my whites and neutrals over here and then blacks on this side and all my fun vacay stuff in the middle so I was always like struggling to reach over here so I moved color there and then bringing my neutral here um, and then I have all of my gals in the go pink stuff which is so fun, but I'm gonna move that to the end um, because I'm not always reaching for pink things. So that's what's happening. I just took on a larger project than expected. That was a workout hanging everything up because I have this in the way. Um, but now, now that I'm all rearranged here, I can slowly start hanging up <laughs> everything that was in my Hampton suitcase, hee <laughs> hee. I never thought I'd see the day that this was done, but I'm on a time crunch because I have an appointment in 20 minutes and it's something gets you going when you're like, I got to get this done. Look, it's done. <laughs> I'm so happy. Both suitcases have now been unpacked. Now I have to figure out this is a new suitcase I've acquired. So I'm going to need to put this one in this and then it's probably just going to like sit here because I do not have room for anywhere else. Just washed these hokas and they literally look bright and fresh again because these are fabrics. So I couldn't really do like Clorox, but they look so good. So I'm going to let them dry in here, but I'm very happy with that. I just took another body shower and I rediscovered this dress in my closet. That's the fun thing of just going through your closet. It's this little light pink maxi dress. It's from the brand Lacademy, I think from Revolve. But it's so perfect for summer. We're going to get a blowout. I haven't gone to the dry bar in so long and I've just been like not, my hair length is just this weird length right now where I don't really want it to be short anymore and I'm trying to grow it out. So it's just in the middle and I'm not confident and I constantly just want to wear it up. So we're gonna go treat ourselves a little bit. I'm gonna get a blowout um, because I have my friend's birthday dinner tonight. It's a surprise, her boyfriend's setting it up for her. It's so cute, it's at like a swanky place. So, I want to look cute and I kind of have some outfits in mind. It's for my friend Cass. She's a stylist, so I need to be looking my best. And I'm so excited to just go get my hair done. It'll be fun. Blowout is complete. I just asked for the straight up with rounded ends as I always do. Looks good. I'm definitely still getting used to my hair being darker. Like, it almost feels like it looks dirty, but like, I do like it, but I don't want to go fully dark. Like, I like having the blonde. What do you guys think? What do I think of my hair color right now? Some days I like it, and then some days I'm like, it just looks like I have dark roots, and I can't decide, but I do feel as though once my hair gets longer, I'll be happy with it. There's just not as much hair to be dark and light, 
Like when I used to have the dark roots and longer extensions with the blonde, I feel like it looked good. I don't know. I put rollers in my hair just to keep the body in the front while I get some emails done. I'm gonna play the deep focus playlist on Spotify and I'm gonna try it and do some time batching. I do this sometimes and it really, really helps. I've kind of been doing it all day today. It's been helping me kind of like, okay, by this time you have to be done. It's 5.02. By 5.35, I wanna be done with my emails. Let's go. All right, guys, it is 5.28, and I have one more page full of emails. Yeah, that's right. I haven't been good at my emails, so let's see how many I can knock out. Okay, not too shabby. It's 5.35, and I have one, two, three, four more emails that require a little bit more work, like ones from my accountant that I need to like write down what my expenses were. Like, it just won't be that great. But I feel so much better and I can do the rest. I want to film something right now. Um, I got some stuff from Revolve and I want to do like a TikTok haul. And then I have to start. Well, I'm going to get ready for dinner and then film it. And then maybe edit it and post it and then put on my dinner outfit and go. So I'll do the rest in the morning. Okay, I just finished filming and now I'm trying to pick out my outfit for tonight. We're going to this place called Casa Cruz. Which I literally, life hack, if you're ever like, what do people wear to this type of restaurant? I'll go on Instagram and look up the, the restaurant and click on places. And then you can see photos people have posted there so you can see their outfits. Everyone in the photos look real dressed up. But a lot of it looks like they had events there. This is like a birthday dinner on a Wednesday. I've been wanting to wear this outfit. I brought it to the Hamptons and every day. This is technically a bathing suit top. But it's so cute. They're both from Revolve. It's like this, there's kind of like flower detailing. And then this skirt is just amazing. I mean, maybe I could switch out the top. And then I have these flip-flop heels that I think are so cute with these two gold bangles from J. Crew. Oh, I need to switch out my earrings. These are my daytime earrings. I just sent a picture to Kelly because she's also going. And I was like, is this? I think she's Ben. I don't know. All the photos I'm seeing, you guys, they're very fancy. I also have this dress from Princess Polly. It's like ribbed, so it makes it a little bit more casual. But is this too much? <laughs> I don't know, and is it, I don't know. I bought this for Greece, and I never wore it in Greece. It could be a good vibe for tonight. I'm gonna send Kelly a picture of this as well. <laughs> but it's cute, right? Okay, another cute outfit, but now I think we're just getting a little too skimpy for a nice restaurant, but it's cute, right? Skirt is H&M, by the way. Boots are Revolve, Lover and Friends. Top is also Revolve, it's old. Okay, wait, I just added a blazer. It's kind of a vibe, I don't know. Okay, this is cute too, but again, it's Wednesday night, Danielle. What are we doing here? All right, no more thinking. We're going back to the original outfit that I wanted to wear, as I should. Oh my God, there's literally body oil dripping down me. I put so much on. Like I said, top and skirt are Revolve. Bangles are J. Crew. I'm wearing Jenny Bird earrings, and then my second piercing, I have these cool, like, rope detailed electric picks earrings. And then I just have a simple gold chain necklace on. Shoes? I think are literally Forever 21. Are all linked similar ones down below. Bag is Bottega. I don't bring this one out a lot, but tonight's the night. I'm keeping my hair off of my skin for a second so it doesn't get too oily, but I'm just gonna rock what I got because hopefully this is nice enough for Casa Cruz and I feel good in it and I really like this outfit. So let's go surprise Cass for her birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> you look so beautiful! Okay, so I have to give context. <laughs> I made Kelly put this in the vlog. Okay, so I had Botox before, and for some reason it froze just in the center, but then my eyebrows were pointing really crazy with Dr. Evil brows. Like here. So then I went to my girl in New York, hey. and I was like, we were, she was like, I'm gonna do really soft, natural, just to soften this. So now, the only thing is this, so I just look sad. Whatever. And I was like, what do you mean, Kelly? And she goes, <laughs> Looks like she's doing puppy dog eyes. Like, it's not, like, no, it's a, like you're really not doing that. No, <laughs> and she's making me laugh in the bathroom. <laughs> it literally looks like... Because when I do it, like, it's like... Someone who's like, what? Yeah, that's what it was like. like what do you they, mean? She froze this. This is what was happening before. I was like, <laughs> no, this is better. Yeah. But so, that's so funny. Anyways, I hope it softens. So, 
Super. Good laugh for your day. <laughs> Yay! So yeah, what is this? Oh, there's multiple. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Yum. Yum. just the most lovely morning i woke up and i chose jazz i literally was like alexa whispering because she's right there play la vie and rose and then she just played a ton of songs similar to that so i had a very jazzy morning and i picked up around my apartment because i'm literally always picking up around my apartment mainly because last night when i was trying on all those outfits i left everything out so i was like putting everything away called my parents because they were together so i was like oh, i could talk to both of them and yeah i just got ready i even put on a little makeup who is she i am gonna go to brooklyn i have a soho house membership and i'm trying to use it obviously i want to make sure i'm getting my money's worth and i have a lot of work to do and i always end up just like staying in my apartment all day and i'm like i live in new york city let's go do work somewhere else so i'm gonna take my booty to dumbo house because i've been there once with brooke for lunch a while ago before i was a member so i'm gonna go it's so beautiful I'm going to take the train there, maybe walk around Dumbo a little bit, um, have lunch at Soho House. Obviously, I can't, like, vlog in there, which is actually really annoying now that I think of it. But I'll vlog in Dumbo and stuff. <clears throat> I'm just going to, like, bring a tote bag. This is my outfit. I got this stupid expensive Loewe tank top because I just had to have it. Now I'm like, all right, whatever. But it looks cute. I finally found a good bra to wear with it. It's a Spanx bra, and I'm just, like, tucking the straps. And then my favorite pants ever from Abercrombie. They're the linen pants. I don't know when this vlog is going up in the sense of the sale, but right now they're on sale. So I will have them linked below. Either way, if they're not on sale, you still need them. They're like stretchy and they're just like, it's like wearing sweatpants, but you just look more elevated. They're like a trouser look. Then I'm wearing my Reebok sneakers and I'm just gonna pack a tote bag. But yeah, let's go to Dumbo. Good morning. Today was so productive and I sat by the water for a little bit before I went into Dumbo House and after. It was, I love the sound of the waves, the Hudson River, or no, the East River waves. Um, anyways, I last minute decided to go to a Soul Cycle class. The theme was Turn Up Thursdays, I believe, and it was with Lamar and I really like his classes. So I was like, let's go. I haven't worked out all week. This is the fit. My friend Kate texted me too and he was like, when are you going to Soul Cycle this week? And I said, I actually just booked a class for tonight. Do you want to come? And he was down. So now I'm like, okay, I have to go because I told my friend I'm going, which is good. So I was happy he texted me and he's trying to get back into the swing of things uh, of spin as well. So I'm excited to see him take class. And yeah, happy Thursday. I already said that, I don't know. Kay just took his first class. Wait, I'm literally in the best mood. That class was so fun. It was so fun going with Kate. I didn't realize it was his first soul cycle class ever. 
Um, <laughs> so they did the whole like, where's Cade? And he raised his hand, he's like, okay, Cade, this is first, second. That was so funny. Cause this is first and he had a blast. It was so fun. And I'm in the best mood ever now cause I was getting a little sleepy. So yay. I think I'm the only person that actually still uses these headbands, but I just love them. I just showered, I feel amazing. I'm just so happy I went to that class. I really just booked that on a whim and I just had the best time. So you never regret going to a workout. Um, today's actually a pretty exciting day. I don't even know if I've really said this. Maybe I said it on the podcast, which if you don't listen to my podcast with Brooke, it's called Gals in the Go. My boyfriend, Brian, his sister, who is my brother's age, she just graduated college in May, is moving to New York today. I knew she we she was moving this weekend, but I didn't realize she was gonna be here today. Um, so it's so exciting. He's been helping her move after work this evening, and they asked me if I wanted to join them for like a little post move dinner. And I want to see her apartment, which is so exciting. And she's also on the west side, so that's exciting. We're all close to each other. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited for her. It's so crazy. Like both Ryan and his sister are here. And weirdly enough, I just found out. My brother is moving out of our house at home tonight, which is so crazy. So both of our siblings are like moving today. Um, it kind of feels like back to school, like, oh, our siblings are moving to college where we are, I don't know. So I'm gonna meet them. And then Ryan was ambitious, because I've been trying to see Barbie and all the movie theaters are full, except for the front row. And I just, I won't do it. I will not do it. So I've been eyeing literally any movie theater. At this point, it doesn't have to be the one nearest to me, like just a movie theater. All the movie theaters have been booked and I'm like, wow, people are really going to see Barbie. I mean, on Tuesday, on Tuesday night it was full. So um, we're just gonna make it a last minute decision and see if there's a movie theater wherever we're at dinner and maybe go see Barbie tonight. I was shocked Ryan wanted to see Barbie. He's like, do you wanna see Barbie? And I was like, what? But then I remembered Margot Robbie's in it. So it's fair, Ryan Gosling's in it too. Um, and he was like, I just feel like it's a cultural moment. We need to see this movie. I was like, I wanna see it. So hopefully we'll go see that. Well, I don't know. I don't want to be up too late tonight, but I'm in a really good mood. I've had a really lovely day, a very well-balanced day, and I'm just doing some gua sha. I'm just wearing this Skims tank, Skims bralette, splits 59 leggings, and I might bring a sweater. Like, if we do go to the movies, like, I can't just raw dog it and not have a jacket. I know it's summer, but it's still cold in the movie theater no matter what time of year. What a stupid idea. Good morning. Outfit of the day. More coffee before talkie. Guys, Barbie was amazing. My voice is like gone right now. I just woke up. But I sobbed at the end. I, I really didn't know what it was about. Like I didn't really, I feel like the trailer didn't like tell you what it was about. And I thought it was an amazing message. I thought the acting was so fun. Thought it was silly. I loved all the outfits and it just like shows, I don't know, it was just so interesting seeing like the real world versus Barbie world, like how the women ruled everything in Barbie world. I, I don't know, it was just interesting. Like when she, it was just so funny and great. Ryan, did you like it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, Ryan and I are gonna go for a little coffee and big walk. I'm wearing this set from Set Active that I just got that I love. It's so cool. And we got Leon's bagels. Um, or did you get Duncan? Did you order Duncan? <clears throat> we're gonna get Duncan for the walk. Yeah. I have my decaf. We're gonna enjoy the morning. home now about to fill out my doing well daily for the day it's friday so i'm gonna start a weekend in my life vlog i love you guys have a great day see you next time mm -hmm.